Welcome in. We are starting up level 7. Level 7 is a pretty massive level, but we actually cut it quite a bit short thanks to an intended little, uh, secret little sequence break. We're going to be able to skip collecting the blue and yellow keys, which cuts out about half the level. Let's uh, hop right to it. There is a shield pickup right above your starting position. You can just kind of nudge up a little bit to get a little bit of extra health this run. Um, so immediately turn to the left and then take the left uh, downward in the fork in the road there. You're going to want to switch to your laser cannon as well because you need something that uh, shoots at a reliable angle. So here's the secret. We see the yellow door on the left here. Um, and there's this drainage grate here that, that just um, where the water flows and goes, you know, out into the void. Um, but there's actually a, a hidden control panel down at the end of this drain pipe. Uh, you might be, you can just barely see the edge of it there. So with the right angle, this is a little easier if you have quads. You want to just try and wiggle and find the right angle. There we go. Yeah, it's like around here, slightly to the right. And when you hit that switch, this passageway opens up with a whole lot of goodies, and it just bypasses the yellow door. So now we just gotta uh, pick up the red key, uh, and then make our way to the exit. You wanna use Helix because the sidearm's usually in the way. Watch the, bl uh, watch the blind action. Got knocked around and went the wrong way. You're gonna go fly through this waterfall. The other way just goes to the other, to an alternative entrance, the yellow area. But through this waterfall, straight ahead into this door. And here's our first invulnerability pickup, this Sega Saturn logo looking thing, uh, which is gonna make this level generally pretty easy. And there's our first Mercury missile as well. So shortly after passing through this waterfall, you're gonna turn around up and this way. And here's, um, this is a new enemy type, the Seeker. They fire Mercury Missiles. Mercury Missiles are very fast-moving, pretty high-damaging, um, dumb fire missiles. They don't lock onto you or anything, but they do move quick, quite quickly, and they pack quite a punch. Um, Seekers are themselves, uh, uh pretty, uh, tanky. They take quite a bit of damage to take out. Helix can, can still choose through them pretty quickly. But they're often worth killing if they're in your path, because they have a pretty good chance of dropping some Mercury Missiles to add to your arsenal. Uh, go ahead and swipe them down as we go down, and um, yeah, from the orientation of the door, it's straight ahead. There's three waterfalls here you can pass through. It's the middle one, straight ahead that you want. And you're going to want to shoot this uh, this computer terminal on the right side. That will open the walls of the cage that we just flew through on the way down. Um, rather interestingly, I, I'm pretty sure, in theory... Uh, it might be a little fast. It would be a little faster to just throw a guided missile down there and break it uh, remotely through the cage walls. But the problem is with guided missiles that um, if your ship takes any damage, you lose it shifts control back to your ship and um, loses can uh, takes away control of the guided missile from you. Uh, and there's a lot of enemies around that would need to be cleared. Uh, so I don't think uh, there's any way to lower these grates early and sequence break a little further. So anyway, once the grates are open, you just fly out the cage and back up through this little waterfall that you came in. Be aware that the uh, materialization center, the mat sun here, will have activated. So there's going to be a big crowd of enemies right here. So you'll probably need to fly through guns blazing. Your invulnerability should still be active at that stage, as long as you're moving decently. Uh, so don't need to worry about damage, but they will get in your way. And kill this seeker on, on the way if you like to try and get some more mercury missiles yeah you just fly out across to, uh past the purple little web thing the mat the materialization center and straight up this shaft to the to the reactor room there's going to be a sidearm up here watch out for that um and then we've got the reactor in the pit up ahead there is a little bit of a uh little bit of a secret pile of items there uh, with some smart mines and guided missiles behind the uh, reactor. You can kind of dip into it to get cover from the other enemies in the room and also just pick up some extra goodies if you like. There's nothing essential in there, but uh, it's 
doesn't really cost you much of any time. And yeah, you gotta watch out for the sidearms in here. You have to hit this switch to re to deactivate the force field to reach the exit. And watch for this seeker. Yeah, you, you'll go into this passageway above the door you came into the reactor room with. There's a seeker in it that um, can chew through your health pretty quickly if you're not careful. As long as you hit the switch, the force field here in the way should be down, and you can just head straight into the exit. All right, so with that, let's uh, go ahead and load and get a run of the level done. So, grab that shield at the start, fly through the door, head to the left, swap the laser cannons on the way. Don't need to worry about that bot, he's a non-aggressive one. And it can be tricky to find the angle, but there it is. Very good chance you get blinded trying to push through that. Be prepared for that. Thankfully, it's a pretty straight lo uh, straight line you're traveling in at that point. No, not too much to worry about there. Shoot the switch to lower the walls. Kind of blast your way through that swarm. Let my afterburner recharge here. It's best to use the afterburner at full charge. I'm just gonna fly past this at me. And yeah, something that uh, comes up quite a bit now that we have the Gauss Cannon is uh, we are going to be switching between Gauss and Helix quite a bit for opening doors. It's better to open doors from a distance with the Gauss Cannon because the projectiles move much faster, and that minimizes the chance of you bonking into doors that are still opening, if you can open them from further away with a faster projectile. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's that's it for level 7. Uh, very massive sprung level, but thankfully cut a little short by a massive sequence break. Um, we'll be going into the last level and uh, boss level of Quartzon next.